Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Felicia. I'm from Taiwan. We are now on episode number eight. Wait, eight. Okay, this is like the way we do eight in um, Taiwan. I'm not sure if it's applicable to other Asian countries, but this is our eight. It's a little bit similar to episode seven in the sense that I'm also meeting a friend who is helping me with my application materials. And this time it's my Korean friend who is helping me out with my self-introduction, the Korean part, so I can sound more accurate and hopefully impress the judges. Uh, I will just be kind of talking about how the meeting went, what I learned, and what I have to do next. All right, so without further ado, let's start this video. Let's go. And guys, I'm so self-conscious about my age. It's like the biggest hindrance. I just feel like everything is against me. Like I'm already too late to everything because today I was like scrolling through Instagram and I saw this ads. There's this like dance academy in Taiwan and they are having this specific program to become like a trainee and ultimately to become an idol. So they are having that specific exclusive training program. And I was like obviously interested. So I just checked it out, texted them on a, a message app. So then I just told them my age and then my gender, whether I have like dance background and all of that. And then they were like, this program is only for people who are under 20. Oh, I'm sorry. And that was like the last trigger. I was like, my God, everything is against me. I felt so devastated at that point. I was so sad. I was like, why am I 20 to almost 23? I have no, why, why was I born in 2000? <laughs> I just really want myself to stop nagging about my age. You can't reverse your age or like you change it it's not gonna happen so i should just put this out of my mind i know i've been saying this so many times it's hard you know like when you see that disqualify for a lot of things then you really challenge or you self-doubt a lot whether you should do it and it's not even a little thing it's actually a big thing because like if you're not eligible i'm not even sure if they will take a look at it but i'm still kind of taking my chances it's like if i don't do it then i will regret i would rather i try and they tell me oh you're disqualified rather than giving up simply because i i think i'm not qualified but you know sometimes miracles do happen and miracles only happen when you take that leap of faith so that's basically what i'm doing right now later in the day i will still worry about my age tomorrow i will still be worried about my age i will still be like, oh my god but then what i try to do is like try to focus on the actions and i also know that i should reduce my information consumption because it's not helping me so speaking of actions let me just do a very quick update. I just had a call with my Korean friend who was helping me with Korean pronunciation. I should have filmed our practice, I forgot. So I think what I can do instead is play like a part of the recording. So I recorded our session and she was just helping me with the pronunciation and I will show you guys just like a glimpse of it so you kind of know how it went. So here we go. Check this again. So the last sentence. Yeah, the last sentence is hard. I practiced this so many times until I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 더한 저는 더한 저는 다른 모화에 대해 배우는 것과 다른 언어를 빨리 익히는 거 좋아해요. Yeah. Okay. I'm so good. I'm so happy. Thank you. Okay. All right, and then. From the beginning, let me check. Annyeonghaseyo, Jeonnun Taeman, Taeman, Eso, Eso Un, Felicia, Felicia Imida, Jeonnun Taeman Nidijiman, Manun Saran, Manun Saran Tulun, Hansan Chega, Honyo Cholom, Boindago, Masmaseyo. Okay, so I'll just show you guys a little bit. So that's basically, so that's how we were practicing. Talk about the entire paragraph first, and then my friend just helped me sentence by sentence. We would correct the pronunciation and then also work on the intonation. It's kind of stressful because I do have like timeline pressure, but I think it's fun. I know I'm making this a lot more difficult because usually you just pick a category and then you send one video, right? or maximum two with your self-introduction. But since like I understand that my age is a limitation, so they will be expecting me to be established. At least I'm not like a total beginner in all the categories. My strategy is to send them all of my performance in each category so that they can review and judge my skills and to see whether 
I'm a good fit, whether I will be able to pull off the training. For rapping, I'm doing English, thank God. And then for singing, I at first I wanted to sing in English, but then I need to demonstrate my ability to sing in Korean. That's why I decided to go with a Korean song at last. For my dance, well, I've already choreographed a dance, but then to also show them that I can dance K-pop, I will also just attach a very short clip, kind of like a yeah, like a reel at the end after my choreography. Well, just to show them I can do K-pop moves, K-pop dance. Those are the three things I'm sending them, and along with my self introduction, I took a lot of time into like designing these materials, like thinking of what I should present to them. I was worried that maybe it will be a little bit too much. I don't even think they will look at all of those. But honestly, at first I was like, maybe I should conserve a little bit. Maybe I should save some of the things for later. If I do pass, then I show them the audition. But then. I just feel like it wasn't making a lot of sense because why am I holding back if I know that I already have a very significant limitation, which is my age? Then I should not hold back anything. I should just give it my all, even if it's just the first online application process. Something will work though, whether it's the good or the bad. We all encounter challenges in our lives and then we don't always get what we want, but I think it's still important to have faith in the process yeah that's like my one of my core values so that's basically about it wow it's again a very long entry because i always have so much things to talk about also because it's a good way for me to relax wish everyone luck don't give up you can try and fail that's totally fine but it would be a pity if you didn't try out of fear or lack of confidence we got this okay we got this so no matter how hard your goal might be please try please try all right thank you guys for watching that's the end of the video i just want to do like a really quick gratitude when i decided to apply my biggest fear was you know it's just too late for me i was almost 23 i had so much insecurities going on and i was really hesitant but then i started reaching out to people to ask for help and none of them ridiculed my decision none of them rejected my request they were all very generous and super excited for my decision they were like wow yeah like go for it girl i just felt a lot more motivated and then i felt a lot more grounded receiving support and positive feedback from people so i'm just really grateful for meeting all of you for the people who have helped me so hard and i want to just say that publicly here in the video yeah thank you guys for helping me and um i couldn't do it without you all but i just want to say that um you know sometimes it can feel like life sucks and then everything sucks you suck i suck things are not going well and then you become resentful you feel like nothing good has happened to you but then we all have to look really closely at the things that have happened to us we have this tendency to magnify the negatives and neglect the positive things that have happened to us that's why i feel like daily gratitude practice really helps us see the good things that have happened which is basically every single day there's something good that has happened to you you just have to really capture that moment and then write it down because when you write it down you're like hey actually i'm a really lucky person i was able to encounter so many good things in my life that's why i do this practice every day on my bullet journal before i go to bed just to remind myself my life is actually really good stop complaining <laughs> it's really rare that you can always stay at the top so you always have to learn when you're in the trough but then you will eventually bounce back again so don't lose hope and then don't feel despair don't get resentful everything will pass and be fine again thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you in the next one 